Welcome to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Alex Indris, and joining me today is Sharon Smalls, and she's the Executive Director of the Wildlife Center of Texas. Sharon, thanks for joining us today. Sure, and it's nice to be here. So during your talk, you mentioned the WCT Oil Wildlife Program. Can you tell us a little bit about that program and what it does? Our uh, wildlife response program for oil spills has been around for a long time and we respond to any kind of oil spill that occurs in the Gulf of Mexico area. And uh, we're all trained, we have all our safety training, HAZWOPER training, ICS training, uh, so that we can respond in a very safe manner. And you also mentioned the uh, old wildlife rehabilitation case study that took place at the Breton uh, Sound 51 oil spill. And uh, can you tell us about the results of that case study? Uh, yeah, that was an interesting spill because we received 983 baby brown pelicans were oiled. And so we were actually there responding for two and a half months. Um, so it's a little longer than normally when we go in for oiled wildlife response. Um, but we did uh, bring them in. We did some cooperation with U.S. Fish and Wildlife and uh, washed the birds, got them back in the wild. It was a longer about because they were babies. So it took a while to get them to eat on their own and get them back out on the islands. And uh, we see today you brought uh, sort of a mascot here for us. Uh, can you tell us about uh, his story? Yes, this is actually one of our educational ambassadors. He is a crested caracara. Um, he has an interesting story because the mother had laid the eggs. The parents had built the nest in a nest that was made out of metal. And it was on top of a pole, so it kept causing fires and outages. And so they had permission to remove the eggs, and they brought them to us at the Wildlife Center of Texas. We incubated them, and when this guy would hatch, one of his foot was, feet was deformed. And so we were able to get permission from U.S. Fish and Wildlife to keep him for education. So he goes out and educates over 20,000 people every year. Plus, he's usually in our lobby a lot of times educating the public when they bring wildlife to us. Very nice, Sharon. Thanks for being with us today. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you, viewers, for joining us today at drillingcontractor.org. <laughs>